Hello friends, how you doing? This is uh, Romeo the Professor. I would like to speak to you regarding several topics today. Uh, my name is Romeo the Professor. I speak regarding crypto news, um, what's going on in the crypto market, and any new coins that I think is interesting. So today we're going to talk regarding Ukraine now accepting Polkadot after raising $20 million in Bitcoin and Ethereum. Not only that, we will talk about Russian banks how the swift ejection caused chaos and crypto usage spikes. And also, Bitcoin exchanges start banning Russia ruble develops discounts. Okay? And we're not done yet. Bitcoin price pumps amidst international uncertainty. Okay? So, we have a lot of things to talk about and the number of Bitcoin whales spike as sanctions of on Russia bite. So my name is Roman the Professor again and we will then end where I will show you on Coindex where the current market cap is and what I think will happen and where it's going. So let's start with the first news of the day. Ukrainian Ukraine now accepting polka dot after raising 20 million in Bitcoin. Okay, so now the government has announced that it's not accepting polka dot, which we know that it accepting Bitcoin, Ethereum, and USDT. Bitcoin and Ethereum has established that they're the one two. One's a daddy coin, one's a mama coin. Bitcoin's the daddy, and Ethereum is the mother of all mother, okay? Now, people of Ukraine are grateful for the support and donations for the global community as we protect our freedom. They say they're accepting that coin. And now, on February 27th, Polkadot founder Gavin Wood replied to the Ukrainian government initial plea for donations saying he would donate $5 million so the Ukrainian government start accepting Polkadot. Well, guess what? They start accepting Polkadot. <laughs> oh. Yeah, so, uh, I mean, it is what it is. Even though he faced criticism for not supply, simply donating funds, I mean... I mean, you could call it politics, call it whatever you want to call it. So if you posted that address, I personally contributed five million. So I guess they did. Since Russian invaded Ukraine about a week ago, February 24, millions of dollars of cryptocurrency has been donated to the Ukrainian government. Okay, and more will continue to be donated. We just know that. Okay, so far the donation has been mainly Bitcoin, Ethereum. And now poker duck is coming into play. Okay, so now we understand what's going on. So Ukrainian and Russia is in a fight, and they're giving Ukrainian money to fight Russia. So they're helping Russia. I mean, they're helping Ukraine. So now let's talk about Russian. Russian banks swift ejection cause chaos, crypto usage spikes. Russia's exclusion from the SWIFT network has resulted in the devastation of its economy. One of its largest banks, SureBank, is reportedly nearing failure as it sees heavy deposit outflows, meaning Russians are running to the bank and pulling money out of their bank, keeping cash, holding it. Okay? So, cryptocurrency usage in Ukraine and Russia is rapidly spiking as citizens attempt to skirt around the economic chaos. So, Russia's ongoing... Facts of aggression against Ukraine has brought near global con condemnation at the latest. Okay? So, major Western economies joined to exclude Russia from the SWIFT network. And that's basically the uh, wiring of bank to banks. And, and it was widely seen as a debt blow for the Russian economy. However, Russian banks have all been ejected from the payment network, including Surbank, one of the biggest and popular, for, for uh, one of the most popular trusts for foreign investors and is good representation of investor sentiment. Mm, 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 not good. Now, pay attention. The Russian ruble experienced a free fall following the sanctions. Now, less than one cent is the financial nuclear weapon that is the banning of Russia, the SWIFT network will set Russia economy back for generations, it's saying. For generations. So Moscow has initiated several financial measures to soften the blow. 
raising interest rates to 20%. That's so that people do not take their money out so that they could get paid 20% and prevented the Moscow Stock Exchange from opening for five days. And Russia has also announced that it will not let assets be sold overseas, which will only deal more damage over the long run. <laughs> that these steps will do little to stem the hemorrhage of Russian markets. Wow. So what's happening? Russian citizens are taking to the crypto platform to avoid the effects of the sanctions. This might not last. Ukraine Vice President Minister asked crypto exchanges to block Russian users to ensure that the sanctions have maximum impact. Now, is that fair? The president of Russia doing what he wanted to do, attacking, and now the president of Ukraine saying, let's punish the Russian people. When crypto wasn't built for that. So, crypto community Kraken CEO Jesse Powell went so far as to say it would not be possible without legal requirement. So, others have compiled with federal requests where DM Mark announcement that it would freeze the accounts of users from Russia and Belarus. However, the most significant of these platform block Russian users are Binance. The exchange said it would block only those targeted by sanctions. Meanwhile, Ukraine has been receiving a sizable amount of donations. Mm, mm, mm. People are starting to pick sides, people. People are starting to pick sides. Bitcoin exchanges start banning Russia. Ruble develops discount. Ruble is uh, the dollar for uh, Russia, by the way, people. Turn off all the ruble pairs. The input and output of ruble is closed. Difficult decision. Wow. Major, 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 major. The Russian economic market is taking a free fall. So, Macro, Kobayan, the founder of Kuna, which claims to be the first public cryptocurrency exchange in CIS countries, they had a pair, USDT Rube, trading pair, standing at $1 globally. Mm. It might look like a small difference. It's enough for a thousand premium of Bitcoin price. Now that Bitcoin is at a discount of 20000 on Binance, going for about 42100 in Rube, a picture above, which is globally priced at 44300 that may be part because the exchange that used to focus on Russian market are now banning the country. Not good, not good. Wow, WhiteBit is another one. They handle 700 million in daily trading volumes, including 20 million in the BTC roof trading pair. For now, users for the Russian Federation registration was suspended due to the implementation of new verification procedures for sanctioned lists, WhiteBit said. People, what that means is if you live in Russia and you're a citizen of Russia, and let's just say you had $100,000 in Russian bank, which is ruble. Your $100,000 now is probably worth mm, uh, $20,000. Now, if you want to take that $20,000 and buy crypto with it so that you can at least save your money and send it off the crypto, you can. So, Russia now is filling the wrath. Now, the major cryptocurrency uh, exchanges like Coinbase, one of their representatives, a unilateral and total ban would punish ordinary Russian citizens, which I said, who are enduring historic currency destabilization, which I told you, as a result of their government aggression. Mm, democratic neighbor. Now you understand what's going on. So Bitcoin price pump amidst international uncertainty. Bitcoin destroys all models and continue to do so at the time of this article. The president of El Salvador, Nayib Boca, took a moment to celebrate Bitcoin as the perfect macro environment does all but serve Bitcoin on a platter. So following the outbreak of the conflict in Ukraine and the Russian incursion, markets tumble. There are many forecasts for money that were most foreboding, oh, sorry, foreboding over the weekend. So far, it has been child's play in the eye of 
Bitcoiners. Hmm. Founder of Swan Bitcoin, Corey Cuppett put it well in, in an interview with Bloomberg on the Ukraine conflict implication and the role Bitcoin can play. I think it is much more interesting thinking about macro disruption, the promise of Bitcoin, why Bitcoin was created, and what it enables, Kipton said. Things like being able to take your value of your family value and exit your physical location without having to go and talk to the bank, which may be shut down right now. <laughs> You're giving real world examples, people. So, the only thing that's bad for Bitcoin is when nothing happens and there's no news. Kipta says, every wave of press, good or bad, gets more people looking into Bitcoin. And you have a fixed supply, 21 million, more people coming to understand it, more people buying it. And that's what drives price up, the demand curve shift. There's the adoption wave that are driven by Bitcoin being the rock star where no news is bad news, regardless of your preconceived notion. It could well proved to be the safe haven asset of our time. Gold is scarce, but it's not absolutely scarce with a schedule and known supply like Bitcoin. Bam! That's the booyaka. So, now you understand. Let's look at the current cryptocurrency market right now. Market cap is right at $2 trillion. It's It's standing very strong. And if we look at all coins, on Coin Codex, uh, let's do it right. Let's do it from market cap, and let's do not three months. Let's do the last twenty four hours. We see Bitcoin surge uh, surge seventeen percent. Ethereum surge fifteen percent within the last twenty four hours. We got Binance. We got Solana thirteen percent, twelve percent. So we're seeing double digit gains. Twenty one percent here. For, for AVAX, um, even Shiba, 18%. So the market is responding and the cryptocurrency market is responding. So let's look at coin market cap. And it's saying uh, the market is at 1.9 trillion. I don't see it at there. I see it higher right now. And so things are moving, people. Things are moving. Okay. So. My name is Real Myth Professor. Follow, subscribe, share, and you see the news that's going on regarding, regarding Ukraine. They're receiving money, and Russia is not receiving money, and Russia's ruble is money is decreasing. Follow, subscribe, share, like. I am out. Real Myth Professor. I'm not a financial advisor. I do this for entertainment purposes.